Holy shit, it was doubled. I didn't catch that. <laughs> oh, that's Jay's log. I was just spam clicking presents. I, uh, I got... Welcome to episode 7 of From Chump to Champ. We have a huge episode in terms of gains. It's a little shorter in time, but let's just get straight into it. As you saw from those previews, I got some big, big items, so let's get into it. Be sure to like and subscribe. So it's the first day of the presents. Um, I wanted to see if I could bank these. So apparently you cannot. So what I'm probably going to do is just hold on to all my wrapping paper, open up the dailies as I go, and then do a big opening at the end of the episode after this. So let's see what we got out of these whites. Probably nothing. Yep, absolutely nothing. And then the blue, we got coal. Wow, am I that naughty? Wow, my timing was way off on that one. Oh, I tried to use a melee swap and yeah, it did not work as well because I forgot all my keybinds, but we'll keep going. I couldn't find my luck of the dwarves. That was a pretty good kill minus the uh, placement of the neutron star. Uh, kind of screwed me and lost a little bit of time, but overall it was a pretty good kill, I think. Oh! Yes! Holy shit! I'm done with ED2. Holy shit, it was doubled. I didn't catch that. <laughs> oh my god. So my overview of BSD, the five second log that I have checked off. It took me 90 solos and uh, 19 duos. We have five furies, two barges, one flurry, um, and obviously the bet. We also have enough energies for, 30, uh, for a set of Elite Tectonic and um, about 10 full repairs of that Elite Tectonic, so that'll be nice. Uh, so I won't have to come back here for a good long time, thankfully, because I am not the biggest fan of this boss. I'm probably going to try to break the, that PR once I get a Grim, because then I might be able to try to get the flight skip, but we will see about that. Uh, let's go put on the title. So we've unlocked the title, uh, Black Stone. It shows up in this awesome purple. Let's go throw that on. I finally have a decent title that is not the uh, Priara title. So it's kind of funny because I was actually starting to get used to that melee rotation that I was doing before, but obviously now with G-Barge, it does change a little bit. So I think the idea is now I'm going to uh, Zerk into a defensive and then build into Assault. Um, I'm sorry, Zerk. Zerk into a defensive, into tree barge, into build to assault, into a hurricane overpower, and then EOF dump, or adrenaline dump. So let's just practice that. I've been trying to practice that a little bit. So let's just see how that runs. So I Zerk, I defensive, I barge, build, assault, and then build. Hurricane, build, and overpower. Now, I think that I could probably fit in like a D long somewhere in there or something, um, but I guess we'll see. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm going with. I think the next step now is to get divert so I can change that defensive to a divert so I can get, have a bunch of adrenaline and try to get even more damage out. Just did a wilderness event and got 101 uh, fire making from uh, the evil tree. So I've been practicing my melee part of my rotation here on the dummies for a little while, but um, I realized that I need another EOF. The reason being is when this is all said and done, after I finish my rotation and I get all three of my big abilities in, I want to be able to uh fit in my overpower and then throw in probably a d long typically after the overpower lands i will have somewhere between 28 to 33 adrenaline just depending on how much i end up gaining so um i did do the rest of the masters that were sitting in my clue carrier i'm just going to highlight the ones that i want to highlight and actually a full opening of it because i didn't get anything super crazy but there's some stuff i want to highlight in there and then i'm probably going to knock out the rest with some easies so I did decide to do all the uh, clues that I had sitting in my bank uh, from before. Uh, I had a few masters, a couple easies, and a few mediums to go, so I decided to knock all those out. 
Um, throughout the uh, opening, I ended up getting uh, about 39 total fortunate, so I'm still short of another EOF. As I said, I do want a melee EOF for my D long as to use if I need to do a trend dump, if I sips a phase or something like that. But I did get a few good items here. Um, they weren't back to back, so I just kind of sort of cut this up a little bit so that you could see the big items uh, back to back. They were not back to back, but here they are coming up here real soon. Yes, let's go. Log progress and Reaper ornament kit. Oh, that is, that's a full ornament. Let's go. That's a full extra ornament kit. Oh, oh my God. That's two Reaper ornament kits out of that one. Holy. So I decided I needed to farm some more clues um, and I had a Dagonauts task so I want to finish up that Dagonauts task and maybe do some Slayer bosses that drop some clues in order to get that melee EOF and then this ended up happening as well. Oh! <gasps> that's DK's log! Dude! That's DK's log! Let's go! So the funny part about that DK's log, I went in to finish up my task so I can start getting some clues for my EOF, but uh, obviously I just finished that log. So the total KC was 49.87, where you're looking at a 10 Sears rings, 18 Zerker rings, 17 warriors, 10 archers, a few blood battle staffs, 39 hatchets, and the 12 uh, bows with all three pets. I did get my last two pets with less than 100 KC between them, which is nice. Um, so I don't have to go back to DKs ever, 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 ever again, thankfully, unless they do something with these rings where I need more. So DK's log does unlock this title right here, Bullock's Air. I don't know how to pronounce that, but if we throw that on, that's what it looks like. It's kind of black, kind of lame, not a huge fan. I think I'm going to still use Blackstone because I think that one's a little more impressive, but let's put Blackstone back on, but I might switch it over later so i finished up that dk's log obviously i grabbed a new task uh we're getting dinosaurs so you gotta try the reason i'm doing slayer is to try to get some more clues so i can get my next eof for a uh, melee eof so with the uh, dinosaurs task i'm probably going to go back to afking rathus because that is the pet that i still oh, i still need to get rathus pet and i want to build kc over there so with Barge being done, I have three major upgrade goals and a path that I want to follow for my solo time. I want to make sure I get Langs for, so that I can start dual wielding and using Kane. Uh, I wanted to get to next so I can start working on getting the uh, essences so that I can upgrade to E Tech from my um, from my uh, uh, Anima Core of Saren. And then, but both these bosses are bosses that I range. So um, before that, I want to make sure I get Gricko from Raksha as well as Divert. Um, so that I can get the big adrenaline boost in my Zerk rotations. And honestly, if I finish both of those, that'd be another log taken out. So a large majority of my solo time is now going to be uh, dedicated to Raksha. So let's get into Raksha. No! Rip. <laughs> yeah, it's been a hot minute since I've done Raksha, so uh, this will be fun. Ah, damn it. <clears throat> All right, so a couple of things. I keep forgetting to swap back to my boots, and uh, my DPS on the last phase is awful, but I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing. So let's go again. Jesus, that was awful. We love spirit weed seeds. Well, at least I got two kills in a row without dying, so I guess there's that, right? <laughs> no! God damn it. No! Oh my god, I accidentally clicked off and... Yeah, oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, stone spirits. 33... Ooh, soul runes, yay! <laughs> Yay, sub four, let's go. I'm improving, yay.
All right, well, at least I'm back down to consistent sub fours. 43. It's all right, I guess. Damn. Tail started out good, and then I ate two tail swipes because I accidentally walked back one square instead of two. <laughs> that was a 39 second PR <laughs> for my duo. Hey, another PR of 0.6. Let's go. Hey, 9.6 seconds. <laughs> EY for kills. Well, I just made a huge mistake. I started uh, Infernal Star and realized I was on Lunars because I was doing my Blex Fast. So, uh, yeah, I missed out on the uh, Wilder Sack. <laughs> So I've been AFKing a lot lately, so I ended up collecting a whole lot of paper. I am currently at 11k, which should be uh, quite a few presents, so let's exchange that paper and see what we get. I got three purples, hopefully we can get that Aurora die. Just spam click on all these whites, nothing special. Blues, got the turkey, got a token, need some more open space, so let's go bank some of this garbage. And I will just put this all in the last tab. Let's open the rest up. Nothing. All right, so we got some uh, tokens here. Ooh, we got the Christmas tree token. Nice. Apparently, I already had that. Let's shield bolts add that. And snowman building. Let's add that. And we got the naughty title. So I feel really, really re I was just spam clicking presents. I, I I got the Aurora die. Dude, I didn't I did it. I wasn't even in the purples. I had three purples. So I was looking at the clip. I got it out of a blue. So I'm like legitimately shaking right now because I didn't even realize that I got that die from the uh, blue present. But let's add it on to my FSOA. Let's see how this bad boy looks. Oh, looks so good. That looks so good. Oh, well, it still started out pretty well until I screwed up the pools. <laughs> We love crystal keys. Alright, 342. That should have been like a 330, but I fed up at the end. Man. Kill started out so damn good. I have no idea what I f up. Ooh! Ooh! Penguin! 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 Yeah! Yikes, what am I doing here? Omni for drops! Damn, didn't work. Yay, more solar runes. I like that. At least that P4 wasn't so bad. So, uh, as a joke, my buddy told me I should uh, do a hybrid attempt at Raksha since I'm, you know, doing hybrid. And as uh, Even though people tell me not to in some places. Um, but either way, I decided to do it as a joke. Um, and I screwed up when I saw on P3 when I swapped back to Mage. I ended up not putting my um, Mage gear on my keybinds, so I was sitting there for half this kill, maging in melee gear, trying to figure out why I wasn't hitting P4. I did figure it out what was going on, but it was extremely slow because of that. But uh, yeah, it was again, this is just as done as a joke. So it's not something I'd actually do, but this is the uh, fun attempt at that. I think I do do a, a mage range kill as well later. Hybrid for two minute longer kills. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> that was a garbage kill for no loot. <laughs> I do think swapping off to a jazz book actually might be a better plan because then I know I can hit 30s inside of that thing, but I don't know if that's actually better or not because P1, 2, and 3 might be a little slower because of that, so. Not entirely sure. What do you guys think? Feels bad. No drop again. 
awful. I like how I got full, like, four Carabola seed drops in a row. That's always entertaining. Thanks for watching episode seven of From Chump to Champ. Um, let's get into the cash change this week. So we ended this week with 15 mil on screen. Now you'll see the graph. This is the first week that we ended up net positive. I know my current cash box says 12, but I already started uh, this week's rune shop run. So I had an extra three mil that's not in there right now. Um, what did we get this week? So we knocked out Greater Barge and we're fixing up that melee rotation, which is nice. I am well on my way to a another EOF to get to the um, melee EOF, which I'm going to probably put my full ornament kit onto that. Uh, we did knock out an additional log outside of BSD when the uh, Dragonoth Kings. So I never, ever, ever have to go back there again. Hopefully those rings don't become more important again, because I would be very, very sad. And we did hit the Aurora die. Moving forward, I think what I'm going to be doing is spending some time doing Raksha every day. Just, um, just I don't know if either with a melee or a mage set. Um, and then I will spend some time doing my daily dungeoneering with Sammy just to try to hit some vestment sets as well as working on a little bit of Arch Glacier to upgrade my melee setup. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next week.